So you want to de-snork your Cayman, huh? Hmm? Is that right? Well, you're in luck. There's a ton of videos online and stuff in forums that tell you you need duct tape and scotch tape and masking tape and knives and screwdrivers and metal, metal wire and gutter guards. Well, some of that is kind of true. I would recommend this gutter guard. I picked this stuff up from Home Depot. No, Lowe's a little bit earlier. Fuck you, Home Depot. You don't have shit. <clears throat> Lowe's is like the Walmart. Home Depot to Lowe's is like Walmart to Target. Walmart just seems to have a lot of lower quality stuff. Walmart is useful though, so it's Home Depot. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about this little piece and we're gonna pop that out. There's actually 18 connections in here. So you're not breaking anything when you pull it out, but you definitely uh, have to apply some pressure. You have some points, one, two, uh, six points I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, somewhere in there. You can't see it from out here, but there's about six, 12, 18 clips that clip in and secure this. And then there's gonna be four pins through there. Let's get to it and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this is relatively easy. Like I said, some people like to put duct tape and stuff around here. You really just gotta get this out here and get your fingers in and just have a nice wide area of pressure and get this out and it pops out just like that. It's not that hard. A lot of people make this way more difficult than it is, and it's not. Now, there's also, I'll bring in right here, screws all over here. I actually got this one, wow, I, I got them all loose. Okay, so I got them loose. I hope I didn't break that. No, I didn't break that. All right, well, you're supposed to use a screwdriver, lift this up, and it should be able to slide right out. <laughs> I swear, I swear I haven't done this yet. <laughs> and, and this one, I, uh, uh, this, fuck, uh, this one I broke. It's okay. Now, I prepared for this. I have some extremely strong double-sided tape uh, until Porsche can get me the $2.50 part because I called them ahead of time just in case this happened, and it looks like it did. All right, so now that we have that out, we have this out, the restrictor plates right here. This comes out super easy. You just gotta pull in these pieces and this comes out those little grommets they're not grommets but ledges and then this will slide right out this way and you'll be good with that and then we have this bad boy so what you want to do here is you want to yank this out this should just pop right out. It's fitted in with a rubber grommet, yep. We're gonna hold on to this because we are going to put some mesh in here just as a safety mechanism. And we're gonna yank this out. Now, I don't have a before video here, but if you meander across my channel and look at all the other videos I have, there are videos of this car without this modification being executed so just go check them out if you want to hear how it sounds or if you have a Porsche 970 I haven't done it yet listen to yours bright idea and then you can listen to what this sounds like afterwards because I'm an asshole and I didn't prepare for that before and after shit so now that we've got this all disassembled and we have this piece that we don't need and this piece that we're gonna need and this piece that we're gonna need well I have carbon fiber side scoops I may be putting in in place of that but who knows, I kind of want to wait until I get more carbon on the car to do that. That's for another video. Now we're going to have this stuff. It's trusty, gutter material. I would recommend getting some type of knife or clipper or something. Salt litter. I don't know where I'm, I'm going to put that right there for now. Because I'm lazy but efficient. That's how you should be in life. Efficient, not lazy. I'm not really lazy. I'm pretty fucking lazy. How the fuck do I get this open? Oh, there's some tape right here. This is actually the hardest part. This is definitely gonna be the hardest part is getting this fucking tape off. Oh, we got some screwdriver chip high right here. Oh. Yeah, there we go, boy. Got that off. You don't need a lot of this. You have way too much to begin with, but what you gotta do, I'm gonna trim this up. You don't have to be too aggressive with this. 
Uh, these, I got a plastic gutter guard, so this is somewhat elastic. The elasticity of this can stretch a bit. So you just gotta find the spots that you wanna put in. Yeah, by the way, that's another piece I broke. It's okay. We don't need that because we're not putting that piece of shit back on. There we go. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull these around like that. Uh, I need both my hands to do that. Like I was saying, I'm gonna swing this around here. Fits like a glove. There's a lot of these de-snorking videos on there, putting in the mesh and all that fun stuff, but trust me, I'm definitely the coolest guy on YouTube right now that has a Porsche Cayman 987. Not really. At least I think I am, though. That's what matters. Confidence, people. There we go. We got that on. Now let's go for... and for the kill. The thing I like about the plastic is it's a little bit lighter than the metal. Not that we're on a racetrack or anything with this car, but it's just better to have light, lighter weight materials and there's so much of this if you need to replace it, it's okay. It's easy to get in and out of this, access this. Now I'm gonna go get a knife because I, I need that yeah, to, to do this. Knife acquired. This is a sharp knife too. So watch out, people. You're just gonna come in here and get this down as needed without cutting yourself, killing yourself. It's always a plus. We're gonna fit this in just to see how much we need to trim off. We wanna have a little bit of overlap just so it's got something to press, apply some pressure. See, you don't need wire cutters or clipping shears. Aha, so there we are with that. Slide this bad boy in. Now we're back in. Make sure it's clipped in. Not clipped in, but it's it's up against a little rubberized grommet. See in there. If you're gonna clean in here, now would be the time to do it. Otherwise, for everyone, peace. Now we can get this bad boy back on. You have and these just slide right back in, like that. And you press them down, and you'll hear them click. This one, obviously not so much. So therefore, we're going to use some of our friendly double-sided tape. This is the part where you scroll down, comment below, and tell me how much of an asshole I am because I have a buck my car up. Oh, there we go. Or you can just be a normal human and go to Porsche and get the part. But parts doesn't have this particular piece in stock. Therefore, I can't go get it. Now here's what I'm curious about. The amount of people that made videos doing this and messed this up and they just want to look like a cool guy and they're too afraid to tell you, show you that they fuck something up. This is real life people. You break stuff on cars. This car is nine years old. As I said in other videos, it's impeccable. Uh, the resilience of the plastic. Let, let's see, is this made in, yeah, made in Germany. Made in Germany. I don't know if you can see that. You can see it. I don't know the difference between German plastic and American plastic. Most of our plastic isn't American, it's Chinese. I digress, as I was saying. It just seems to be good quality stuff. A lot of it is easily accessible. So you're bound to break something here and there. It's a clip, it's a $2 part. Haze me, it's the end of the world. I know, yeah, my life's over. I'm, I'm, I'm not a fucking doctor, calm down. So now that we got this on, tape on, uh, I do want to see what the carbon fiber piece looks like. I'm gonna save that for another video. We're gonna take this for a drive, see how it sounds if I notice a difference with a desnort. I'm gonna pop this back in. Get our merry way. It just pops back in like that. Yeah, seats right in. And we are in my people, so let's get in the car and we can get some exhaust in. I'll actually start it from the outside just so 
I have video record of what this sounds like with this little restrictor plate removed. This was the goal. Removing this, this, Okay, so we are in the car. I have the keys. Let's get a little start ski and we can get moving forward. You ready for this? I don't know if you are. I don't know if I am. Let's do it. like a rumble when you are at idle. Let's give it some reps. Keep in mind, I do have the connecting sleeve between the secondary cats and resonators slid over. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't think of that. I have it slid over. Uh, that's in a separate video as well. Go check that out if you haven't. And if you are curious what that is, do it to your car. It takes five seconds. I highly encourage just trying it. If you don't like it, if it's not for you, good. Bucking, put it back. It's not that big of a deal. It's a little bit more invasive than this because you might have rusty bolts. Get some PB blaster and do that. You're good to go, but let's see. Give it some revs. Definitely hear the whine of the engine. Let's take it for a drive and see. This is gonna be the true test. Gonna throw my seatbelt on for safety purposes, even though we aren't exceeding the speed limit. You seem somewhat secure right there, so we're gonna leave you there. All right, here we go. checked it so it should be but it's always fascinating to just find out that you didn't do something when you really thought you did therefore we're gonna pull over and there's also one more thing I'm gonna show you that's I think the coolest thing about this line so we open the door if you see back there just listen to this hear the one thing right when I apply throttle you'll hear a, a, a <laughs> that's the major difference with this that initial <laughs> suction of air you can hear it now yeah that's about it um, at a church there's some kind of crazy guy right behind me can you see him we're gonna get out of here i'm gonna get raped so there you have it d snork complete successful 
taking it out. This is a restrictor plate that we got rid of. All you need is that, some gutter guard from Lowe's. A multi-tool never hurts. Fine tip uh, flathead screwdriver. And these are the carbon fiber scoops that I'm gonna be adding on. I will install them in a later video. Real quick, I'm gonna show you exactly what this looks like if you choose to do it. I'm gonna be honest with you, there's not too much of an engine or ex well, exhaust note difference because you're not doing anything to the exhaust. It's, it's like doing something to the intake, except an intake would make much more of a difference. This was free. Is it worth it? It's free. Yeah, it takes five minutes and you get a little bit of dirt on your hands. That's about it. You can also clean the inside if you choose to. So I personally think it's not a terrible thing to try. I just, it's something I saw a lot of people doing. It's very controversial, so I want to make a video on it. I like it. The one thing I do notice is once you give some throttle, you, you do hear that, that instant suction of air. That's the only main difference. Everything else is insignificant in my opinion. Uh, there's debate whether there's horsepower gain or if there is or isn't. I don't notice a difference. If you lose horsepower, it's only a little bit. If you gain horsepower, it's only a little bit. If you don't do anything, that would be my, my assumption is not much happens, not much changes there. And even if you do, it's not noticeable. So have at it, check it out. Experience your car, enjoy your car. See what mods you can do on your car. If you don't have a Porsche and you're just here watching just to, I don't know, you got your popcorn ready and you're just checking out videos, that's fine. But this is something I wanted to try out. I'm gonna keep it that way because I am gonna be hopping back into that and I have some other things I have to do to the car to get ready for Cars and Coffee Lehigh Valley. Other than that, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you can check out all the other stupid stuff I like to put online and make myself look like a fool. I'm gonna go to Porsche and get those grommets. I'll make a video letting y'all know how much they cost. They're cheap and it's easy to get them. You just have to order the part. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I uh, will also know all the information later. If you know what it is, comment down below. Comment down below anyway. Let me know if you like the video, anything you want me to switch up, change up, whatever it may be. I like the feedback, even if it's negative. Tell me I need a haircut, or whatever. Otherwise, subscribe, motherfucker.